Hey guys, Planet Mark here, your one-stop vlog for everything Disney theme parks, countdowns and information videos and vlogs. You can probably guess by the title of this video that it's not a good one today. I'm gonna don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything that's happened and the reasons why and all of that, so you know, just for, for, for just for people that care or are a little bit nosy, kinda like I am, then don't worry, I'm gonna explain why it's a bit bad and complicated. But anyway, so yeah, we have had to cancel our Walt Disney World vacation. That's include like Universal, SeaWorld, all of those, uh, Dis Discovery Cove, Dolphin Swim, everything. It's all had to be cancelled. You know, it's not easy like uh, when you're like, trying to book a Disney vacation or an Orlando vacation. There's loads of things that you have to book into, into consideration. Where you're going to stay, like um, park tickets. Try and like, we'll do all this research to get the best park tickets. Booking at the right time as well. Is another really big one, making sure that we've always got, uh, we've always got the best prices. So you know, I'm gonna do. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a video on like how we always manage to get at least 50% off at vacation. But still, that's that's one for another day. Unless this is in the past, and I might have already done it. But anyway, so I've. So yeah, there's just there's just a lot. To really put in, you know, all of that's gone now. We've missed out all these discounts. We put down our deposit and paid the money, and it's, you know, this all had to be cancelled. I mean, even our reservations as well. Literally, 180 days out, we were booking Ohana's. That's a really hard one to get. It was really difficult. We didn't think we we're going to get it in the first place. We actually booked it. Actually, managed to get all of our bookings, everything all sorted out, and then to realise that now it's not. Now it's all gone up. Uh, you know, at least. Another person has, you know, claimed that reservation at the moment. So the reason why, like, why we've had to cancel our Disney vacation, after obviously doing the countdown and really getting you guys excited and all that, um, it's basically a lot of things have been going on in our lives, and but mostly like, we we decided to put this like quite a while ago, like uh, obviously like a few months ago. Whenever we announced it to you guys, I can't remember exactly dates of things but obviously we're YouTubers, small YouTubers, not massive great big YouTubers which can live off the money of YouTube uh, yet unfortunately so it's like we well, both of us have jobs, we're both full time working people and uh, like a YouTube channel is like a second job as well, like we work all day, 8 hours work day and then we come home do like an extra like 4, 8 hours or something like that, it probably works out 8 hours a day after work you know, if you add in weekends, all that time, promotion, things like that. So it's like a second. It's like it's not like having two or like part-time jobs or having one full-time job and one part-time job. It's all two full-time jobs. But anyway, so we have to really think like, you know, our initial thing is our jobs and our work and that. So what happened is, actually that's always going to have to come first because that's our means of staying alive, unfortunately. But yeah, so... I would spoke to them about it, I spoke to them, like, uh, we both spoke to our work department and said, like, well, before we book this holiday, say, so, is it, like, fine, you know, we've got four weeks here, like, we're leaving on the Monday, and, because I only work, like, Monday to Friday, I'm not going to, I'm not going to name any names, or anything like that, I'm not going to tell any, no one, nobody on YouTube knows my, where I work, or anything like that, I would never tell anything like that, because I'm very high, pretty high profile, with my, like, with my job, it's, if people found out, it could be dangerous, so I'm absolutely never going to reveal that. So don't even ask. Um, but going into like going, okay, going back, I told them all. Yeah, I want this back on like the Monday because uh, obviously like on the Saturday, like um, they just didn't have any. We just kind of thought like um, cheap enough, like it was cheap on the Monday. So we thought we'd go then, and they said initially, they were like, yeah, no, it's, it's, it should should be absolutely fine. And my interpretation of the word should is yes, it's fine. I don't know about you, but when someone says yeah, should be absolutely fine. I think that's as good as it is definitely absolutely fine. I don't know about you, but that's, that's a fault on my half. I shouldn't have thought, okay, should is definite. I should, like, next time, or always get things done in writing, especially things like that, especially things at work. Have it done in writing, then at least you've got some kind of legal basis for it. But I didn't have that. And I went ahead, paid all this money, paid this thousands of pounds, like, um, all this research and everything for it, and... Then, like a couple of weeks, like um, only for, like two weeks ago, they turned around and said, like, no, no, you can't. I think it's like three, maybe, yeah, about three and a half weeks ago now. They said, no, you can't. Like, um, 
it's kind of like higher up have said no you can't have this you can't have that time off it's like they want me to be back in like by a certain day and I was like well no I fly home on that day I'm not going to be in so like uh, I land the very next day so I won't be in to the day after that you know I'm fly home on a Monday and they need me there but on the Monday I was like well you know I'm not going to be able to be there so well you know if you don't do that then you're going to get fired well you know I've been here for years and years I've been here for a lot quite a long time I'm you know, known as the guy that knows my stuff I kind of thought that was a bit more respected but it's not yeah but anyway you know what employers are like I'm, again I don't really go on to it too much like I say I'm not going to name any names at all or give any information of what it could be but anyway so they they offered me they said okay well you know it's only with those days like um so the days there's um 20 days holiday you know you can't have any time off for that so i offered like can i buy those days back i'm not expected to be paid can not just like you know not pay me for any other like holidays i need to take the holidays like um days off and be flexible as i can but still it's just, it wasn't budging <coughs> at all so i was like look here so you know that what's the next logical step that you would take is no like well, what about like moving it back like mark why can't you go on the saturday so look you know try and fly on the saturday before and it was actually going to end up flying two days before like extending that going out on saturday and coming back on, like um, a day before because like basically they didn't have basically we came we come we were supposed to come back on fly back on monday the third of December and so they didn't but they didn't have any flights at all which I found was unbelievable no flights at all for like the whole of that week and they didn't have any flights like before that the earliest flight before that was the Wednesday before and I was like why should I have to you know stop my vacation why should I have to have a one week's less vacation or you know when I was initially told that it should be absolutely fine so I was like no I'm not going to do that and either way they took it back two days and to come back a week earlier was still going to cost over a thousand pounds which is crazy so i'm going for less time and paying you more money that doesn't make sense to me and that's you know i wouldn't ever advise anyone to do anything like that so don't you know always try and get the best cheapest time you have to weigh up your options but that certainly is not an option for me so i went back to virgin again we said what about like a saturday like the saturday afterwards and they said basically if you like we can fly out on saturday however like coming back would take you know, it would take it out to like a block out day. I don't know how it really works. So there's certain days which are block out days from like the 9th to the 11th. So it was when we were looking to come back, that was a block out day for Virgin. And fortunately, not so. You know, I didn't want to, it would still would have been costing more. And it took them, what, three and a half weeks to say that. So yeah, so we had no other alternative option but just cancel the entire trip. Mark, we've still got three minutes left of this video. Ah, oh, sorry. We booked again! Yes! Woohoo! Yes, we booked again. Basically, what the problem was, was like at that time, Virgin took three and a half weeks to get back, and then straight afterwards, so I was like, you know, like, why is it taking so long, there was customer problems, there's, like, you know, problems like with other teams and things like that, it's not their fault, it's just, unfortunately, the way the system goes. But anyway, so we said, what about the week after that, Saturday, leave on the Saturday, the um, November the 17th, come back, December the 15th, that's another Saturday, and yeah, that was all fine. So I went back to my, uh, my employer and said, you know, what about these dates? And I said, no, that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, so technically, before anybody says, oh, this is really clickbaity, Planet Mark. No, it's not clickbait. We technically did have to cancel that. It's called, it's classed as a cancellation. It's a complete rebooking as well. So that, so it's not, but luckily they were just take, able to take the deposit and move it over to there. And one, and one issue that we did have, which I'll go on into uh, like 10 ways I always managed to get 50% off like um, a holiday video as well is the fact that all of our different like um, all of our like, vouchers and things like that weren't going on as well because they've been put in this other one they're saying well no you don't have to pay like full price but I was like well no it's taking this long to get back to me and so they were very nice though this is why Virgin on the best customer service BA do not fly BA you do not get good customer service with BA BA would never do it British Airlines says they would never do anything like that they're a 
terrible airline for customer service. I'm not saying like I'm only the pilots or like um, even the, the agents. I'm not saying the agents are bad or anyone like that. So I don't think I haven't got the employees. It's more of the system, more of their rules and regulations, which is wrong, which is why I would always go to Virgin. But it seems like they're much more you know, understanding um, airlines. So that's why we'd always go Virgin. We'd always advise you to fly Virgin as well. So anyway, so it actually turned out you know, like well, I said, you know, it's taking this long, so it's like, okay, well, we'll put it back on as well. We put all these, like, uh, discounts and things that you managed to get. Like, again, I'll explain a bit more in another video. And, but it turns out, because we're going later, because we're even flying on a Saturday, Saturday is normally the most busiest day, the most expensive day of the week. It turns out that all that stress, all that annoying thing actually saved us £300. So, yeah, so that's... You know, that's a saving. So going through all that, you know, being annoyed and like um, being stressed out for the last like three and a half weeks has actually saved us 300 quid, which I'm pretty happy about. And so, and like I say, so the countdown is beginning somewhat 14 days later, but the countdown now, now stands for until we're back in Orlando at home. It is 125 days to go. Which admittedly is quite a lot. So, and so what we're going to do for you guys now is a Disney countdown. Every week or Sunday or something like that is going to be Disney countdown Sunday. That's what we're going to be doing from now on. It's another new series. So make sure you have subscribed to Planet Mark. Hit a bell notification be told on the next great upload. Check out our links in the description box below for super cheap Disney Orlando essentials which trust me if I'm good I'm this good at saving everyone money I want to save you money as well so definitely check that out like this video share it around follow us on Twitter at Planet Vlog or facebook.com forward slash Planet Vlog or a brand new Instagram account at disney.dreamer underscore UK see you next time guys bye 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 bye